All right, some more updates. No, already got talked about taking the chips out. I gotta make a mount for this. I don't know. Looks like it's got a little antenna. But made, I'm still trying to figure out where I wanna do that control panel. May end up just modifying the top again. I don't know. Figured that out. Um, this is a uh, this piece is modified from my broken the uh, ET eighty five fifty. So I like to keep parts and reuse things. So this this was the track for the ink anyway. And I got the sys over there. Lines running up. And then I, I clamped them in here. There's a little piece on this edge. I cut that off. There's a piece that I cut off. And then there are some pre-existing holes that are threaded in this the, the 1430 top bracket so I just drilled holes in this and put the sheet metal screws in holds it very well and then I'm also reusing the clips from the 8550 and the plastic the track and then having it wrap up in, into here and just figure a way to make a make a section on this secure and then having just like holding it there it tracks nicely staying out of the way uh, these are for the L1800 just the dampers for an L1800 you can see I kind of modified them down there Because there's pins in this one. So modified the cartridges for this to fit in. And they sit down nicely. And they also go in because I took all that stuff out of it. See the difference in the cartridges. These will run all the way over into here and they have that little buttonhole for the uh, pins that stick up. I did a flush of the whole thing. That's what I got. That's the waste ink. And what I did is I got my little little vacuum pump and then the release there's a, you could pull off the side cover and there's a uh, way to release the carriage. It gives you a way, uh, an arrow of rotation. But if you watch the head ro just right, and as you're rotating it the, the opposite direction of the arrow, you will feel, feel resistance on it. As long as you got a good screwdriver, a, well, flathead or common, whichever, whatever you want to call it, and you rotate it in the opposite direction, it'll lift up the purge unit. And when the head is over the properly over it, it'll lock it in, lift it up, and then you can manually prime it. So, along with having a vacuum pulled through this, because this is this pump is just creating a vacuum inside there. And then this is connected to the waste ink of the, that. Yeah, I, sorry, I'm spacing. So this over top makes a seal against the head of the print, the, well, the print head, and then create the vacuum and then rotate the
Uh, well, I guess it's just, it's not a screw, but you're actually rotating all the gear train for the pump. But you rotate it opposite direction of what the arrow says, and then it'll start um, pulling pulling the inks through with the pumping action and the vacuum, so it makes it a little quicker. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about going through running cleaning cycles, running cleaning cycles. You could just go and do it that way and it also doesn't put it against the counter because it has no idea what you're doing so you do it manually like this it bypasses the counters and it doesn't say that you have more ink in your the waste ink pads or anything like that i don't have any waste ink pads it goes external now but the printer still has the counters in it so at one point I will have to reset the waste ink counter, but I don't have to worry about any pads being filled. I just I did put a couple in there just to catch up catch any little drips that happen from the head or if I have a oops on printing. But other than that, there is no no pads in it. Well, I mean you got under I got a, I got it underneath the purge unit. Ah, I remember what it was. So that I would definitely recommend keeping the pads under that because that gets all nasty in there. And then eventually you have to take all it apart, clean it. All right, so coming back, got that part, like I was saying, got this attached, screwed in. And then on the carriage, I crudely melted slash plastic welded Another piece that sticks off so I can clamp down the hoses over it. And then it, it runs over the hose track that I added. So No issues there. And then I'm going to have this just come out over here. I'm gonna have the hose come out over here where the waste and everything else is at. So then it'll be there. It'll be clear of all the, the uh, papers that will come out and then that should be good only thing left would be that little board to figure spot for that and then come up with my final idea of where to put that with the control and I have the sys on it the continuous ink supply system. I brought out my, there, there's the, the reset for the ink cartridges because it has the chips in it. I got my purge line. And then if you could see the, the hole right, let me move that. The hole that's right there that is that is for the manual releasing of the cartridge sorry the carriage so I can move it and do what I need to do and then uh, rotating it one way releases it rotating it the other way re-engages the uh, purge section and then I can put a vacuum in that little bottle and rotate the, the mechanism 
in the lock position and it'll actually start pulling inks and stuff through it. So this has definitely been modified. I got all of the stuff back, all the casing as much as I could back on it. There's the vacuum port. And then there's the there's this cover that was on there. I pulled that off and may actually do another mod for rear paper feed. But it's got the same back end as the R1800 does and the R is for the, the roll. So the only difference on this is a, a piece that goes up underneath on the inside that covers the power supply into the paper area. And then these spots like that, that's where rollers would go. But it already has the back pieces for these roller attachments. So I could just pop, turn it back around again. I could pop this off, which I already tried. It does come off and then I can roll and roll feed into the top side. Just makes it a little easier going from the back. But, all right, so now this is the interesting part. Open it up. And then there is the ink cartridges, which are actually dampers. There's no ink cartridges in this. So they're there, got the tubing ran. I had to modify the case a lot to make all this work. There's a lot of shaving and molding plastic pieces, but the it loops down there and there's my second track I put. So you can see that this area is way well open and I had to undercut everything, open it up. I just wanted to keep it looking decent. And then See, everything moves nicely. And I have this set up at the highest point. You can see the, the gap right there. I know everything clears at the low point and that's where I had it. I had it set and then I raised it up and then I realized that I had to take everything back apart and trim a whole bunch of stuff. But, yep, got everything back inside the case. I don't want to turn it on and do anything because I have, as you can see, there is no inks or anything in it, completely empty. So I more or less mimicked the European version of this, which is the L1800. By doing all these mods, the only thing is like the L1800, I'd be able to use the existing uh, rails and stuff that are on the inside for the channel for the, the, the piping because it uses an external tank but I'd have to get a different carriage and change the uh, motherboard for that. And I don't, the main board, and I didn't want to do that. Not in this one. So. All right, gonna. There's the, the port I made for the vacuum after modifying all the bottom, which there's other videos of that. So you can 
see the edge of the paper is up, how it kind of, there it is. So I'm gonna turn the vacuum on, hold the hose. It's gonna be just temporary to see if it'll pull. I'm not gonna be using this vacuum. I got a, another pump that I'm gonna be using. So, but this is just a, it's gonna have the same suction. So, see if it uh, pulls it down. Connected, disconnected. Connected, disconnected. So now I have air running through that whole channel. Need to hear. So you can see that the mod does work. 